Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Bit of a different view. I thought I'd share with you. It might be a bit of a shaky video. My apologies. I still have to get a tripod for my phone. Uh, it's definitely on my list of things to get. It's one of those things I forget until I go and do one of these videos where I'm behind the camera. Well, today I'm going to do, well, first of all, nothing on my nails, but today I'm going to do a video of what I've melted for the month of August. But before I wanted to show you what I've done here, um, so this is what my table looks like right now. And there's all these finds here that I picked up between this year and last year. That's the luminary from last year at Bath and Body Works. Nice sign. This guy right here. Pumpkin. And that's a, that is a uh, wreath that I just put down. And yeah, so anyway, so it might be a bit shaky, so I apologize. I'll do the best I can to not shake. And as this video is a and empties and these all of have already had reviews on my channel so I'm literally just going to show you and move on and you know obviously if I would repurchase something I'm not I'll start with candles something I'm not repurchasing sadly is Colin Canary's crimped hair and truth or dare this was a horrible burn and as usual unfortunately with that company I have not been able to get a good burn from any candle I've burned from them and I must have purchased between minis and large size that like that one probably about 10 or so candles and they're not cheap and then we've got this one here this is an empty as well dw holmes vivid collection sea salt and melon that is done we also have let's see if i can get some get the color in here so from the portfolio collection aquis in ginger mango from Bath and Body Works, we have Island Margarita. And the last candle I have as an empty is, do, 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 let's see if I can turn this around, Candle Lights Candle Company Tropical Fruit Medley. Not my favorite, as you can see. Look at that. Blah. Hi, it's my phone. So, and yeah, I'm holding on to this, so it's gonna be a little shaky, and I do apologize. All right, so I'm going to show you what I've melted from the month of August for Sassy Girl Aroma. I'm just gonna switch hands here. We melted strawberry milkshake whipped cream wedding cake. This was nice, but it just didn't, it threw for the first little while, it just didn't linger very long, so I would not repurchase. Orange Sherbert Tangerine Satsuma Hello Sweet Thing Noelle's Fluffy Birthday. That was quite lovely, again, I had to put it in my small melter in my bathroom, 18 watt, and it didn't last very long. It, uh, it kind of petered out, so. I went through a sample of Celebrate Fizzy Pop, which my friend Sarah gave me. I think it was her. Yeah, I think it was Sarah. Anyway, uh, this was a sample size. This was nice, but again, I'm finding Sassy Girl Aroma, with the exception of a few fragrances, they don't last very long. Like after four hours, it kind of just peter out. So, and they don't give me the strength that I once had it with it. Sassy Girl Aroma's Pink Sugar Sleepy Time. Thank you very much for my friend, to my friend Beth for sending me this. This was lovely. I have had this in my bedroom. It was quite lovely. It was, I think, just lavender and pink sugar. So, but this was nice. It was a lovely gift. Um, this was also from Beth, uh, Sisters in Pink, which I think is Pink Chiffon and, sorry, there you go, Pink Chiffon and Pink Sugar. This was lovely as well. I found the Pink Sugar came out more than the Chiffon itself. Uh, Hello Lover Birthday, um, very nice. Again, bedroom scent, I melted it, but again, this one, didn't, I loved it, it just didn't last. It didn't linger as long as so many other vendors that I've tried. And this one here is my best girl. Now this one was amazing. I, I would buy a loaf in this. It was a it was uh, like a really great uh, like lemon lime fruit explosion. It was a beautiful scent. I really like that. Very uplifting and bright for the summer. And then a couple bags I went through. I either went through it myself or did give some away to friends. Gummy bears, fizzy soda, strawberry raspberry guava. This was nice. Very nice. I don't think I really repurchased that one though. So far, my, my best girl is my favorite one. Fizzy Pop Strawberry Raspberry Guava. Again, very nice. This one surprised me. This was Raspberry Lime Birthday Cake. I actually quite enjoy this. I wouldn't necessarily go and buy a chunk bag of it, but if I had another chunk, it would be really nice, but I'm not gonna go out and buy a whole bunch more just for the sake of buying it. All right, what's the next grouping here? 
this is the one-offs, I think, that I have here to share with you. So let me just get that sorted. All right. So let's do, sorry, that's my finger. Sorry guys, I won't do this very often, but I really wanted to show you my setting in the background. And if I get my stupid tripod that I want to get, then that would be better too. Candy Panda's birthday cake. Um, not strong Candy Panda. I tend to have to melt the entire scent shot, sorry, entire scent shot to get a throw. It's not strong, it lasts about four or five hours and that's it. Which is fine because I change my, on weekends especially, I change my melts out twice a day. Oh My Tarts Blueberry, sorry, it's the writing behind, I think, there you go, Blueberry Pops. This was amazing. This smelled just like the mango, Blackberry mango ginger ale from vintage cheap scents that I love so much. This was wonderful and it threw like crazy. I did not get blueberry whatsoever. I would highly recommend that if you can get this. I don't even know if Omar Tarts is in business. I think they've changed names, but I'm not familiar with the vendor. I received that in a random act of kindness. All right, so then we have Destination Wax Jelly Cronut. This was awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get that in focus for you. This is great. This is my favorite destination wax so far uh, that of all the things I've melted. Sorry, this is really, this was a favorite. Um, I like it in these little containers more than the bags that I received majority of my wax from that company before. I retained it, sent, I split this in half, put it into two different warmers and it did really, really well. I, I, and this is my second out of two uh, scent shots of the scent and I really, really enjoy it. My friend Ramona sent this to me, and my friend from Florida also sent me one back in December, but this is Lemon Icebox Pie from Lake Providence Lodge. Ugh, it is amazing. Uh, so, so good. I would highly recommend this. I would re I would purchase, because I've not purchased it yet. Um, from Wilma's, Rose Jam type. Not my favorite Rose Jam. You guys know that. You saw the video. It's been posted. Oh, we got a review. Rockus Candle Company Pink Penalty Cake. This was a favorite of mine. It smelled amazing. Um, I haven't actually purchased from Rocket Candle Company. I don't even know how often they blend Pink Penalty Cake, but I do like this. I quite enjoyed it. I felt the throw was really superior um, and the scent was perfect for my bedroom. So I really enjoyed that from my friend Ramona. All right, so business that is no longer, it's Ambrosia Shops, and it was in summer vacation. Really not a whole lot to say that it's not in business anymore. Scent throw wasn't the greatest. You can't read it, but it's Make Sense Candle Shop uh, from Can from back east in Canada. It was in Fruit Loops. I did this in a Fruit Loops video rundown. Um, it was okay. It was all right. I was actually surprised of uh, the strength in this, given that it's a very thin bag, and I felt that perhaps in previous melts from this company that because of these flimsy bags um, that the scent may leached, but I don't think that was the problem. So that one was good. L3 snooze button for my friend Beth. This is quite lovely. Really, really enjoyed it. I used it in my bedroom. Fantastic. I melted the remainder of my Ava's Country Cupboards Lemon triggered rose jam, really enjoy this. Didn't find it successful in my bedroom in my hot plate, which is a rather large hot plate circumference. I felt like I had to put two of those tarts to get a good throw, but when I used each of these little bunts and put them in my smaller warmers, that my mainstays or my Bath and Body Works warmer, it went, it was really, really good. I highly recommend this one if you like thing, the scent like lemon sugared rose jam, very, very nice. Okay, you guys. Whew. I'm not gonna not gonna sit about talk about this one too much. Friend Sarah gave me lavender soda. I absolutely love it. It's freaking amazing. I have two loaves in it now, and yeah, uh, I'm really really wanting to get my hands on that lavender coconut that um, may or may not come out soon. So from Zape, Zape, um, I have all coming on its way as well of Zape. So really, really love this company. I really, really love lavender soda, but you guys probably aren't new to that. <laughs> All right. So I got, I purchased this in a D stash, Sniff My Tarts, Orange Satsuma, Blueberry Lemon Fizzy Pop. I didn't get blueberry, which is again, a good thing because I'm not a huge blueberry fan. I always put a sticker of the date that I received the product. So it's not necessarily how old the product was. Um, this was nice. If you like orange, definitely go for it. I'm not a, like I like orange, but, um, small doses. 
Um, this is nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it, but it was part of a de-stash that I did buy uh, among many other uh, vendors and scents. This one was amazing, and I did give some to a friend of mine uh, from Tiny Tarts, also purchased in a de-stash, Cotton Candy Champagne, sorry. And this was actually really good. Now, mind you, when I received this box, it was quite melted. Um, everything was quite warm out. It was like 40 degrees Celsius here, which I think is like pushing 100 degrees or 102 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so it was quite warm and I didn't pick it up until the end of the day. So you can sort of see it was softer wax, mind you. But this did really well. I was very impressed with this. I don't have, I don't think I've ever melted anything else from Tiny Tarts, but this was great. Highly recommend. All right, let's go see the next bundle. Let's see if I can get all these. All right. All right, let's do this. So from Sugar and Spice Candle Company, you guys are going to see a, new, a haul coming from me this company shortly. I really do enjoy this company. They do simple scent shots just like such. Uh, this one was in Fruit Loops that you can't read because my freaking phone won't focus. All right, Fruit Loops. Bear with me. There you go. This threw like crazy. I made the mistake of splitting this in half. Um, I got this back in June or I got it in June so it was probably in May that she poured it. This I could have cut in quarters and it would have thrown. So I, uh, as I've said before with uh, sugar and sorry, sugar and spice soy candle company, um, I would definitely let her stuff cure for two to three months and I think that's the sweet spot, at least it has been for me. So this one was Margarita on the Rocks. Stupid phone. The struggle is real. This was nice, just not, it was, oh, there you go. It was nice, um, wasn't magnificent. I probably wouldn't repurchase this one, whereas the Fruit Loop one, if I was so inclined to repurchase Fruit Loops again, um, I would probably buy the Fruit Loops over this. And this one was purchased actually back in um, April. So, but this was nice, but just not like my, I wouldn't go out and buy it again. So I got a couple of Ramble on Wax samples that I had received in these stashes. This one is in Heartbreaker, Lavender, Mint, Saltwater, Taffy, and Bubbly Fizzy Soda. This, this to me smelled just like uh, fizzy, or mango, blackberry mango ginger ale, vintage, uh, vintage Chic Scents, Rainbow Melts. Uh, this was just amazing. I melted it in the heat of the, the month of August. This was absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I haven't seen her for Heartbreaker in a while. Um, I've been keeping my eye on the ones I know I like, so I might purchase that. But this was a sample size. I would get it again for sure. Uh, Evolution. And this one, excuse my writing, ice cream scoop bread, dark roast coffee, and French vanilla toffee. This is really nice too. This one, again, like I'm really liking Rebel on Wax. I think she does, um, I think she does a restock once a month, I want to say. Really, really nice though. Quite enjoyed that. And Odd Fellows, I really like this one too. Again, it's something I have, it's not, I don't find this, I haven't found this blend too many places. Oh, sorry about this. It's similar to Vintage Chic Scents Joanna. So this is Spearmint Cream Cakes Rich Strawberry Butter Cream Frosting. So you've got the spearmint, like a mint, and the but there's no, I don't know, there's no lavender in it. But it's it was similar to me and how, how I like Vintage Chic Scents, Joanna, I like this. They weren't the same, but they were very in the same family. They were cousins, but really like odd fellows. All right, let's see here. All right, we got some Hayden Row that I did melt through. Just gonna grab everything here. Okay, so. Uh, this bag here. This is a sample of one of those little duckies in violet lime. This is nice. Not my favorite. I'm not a violet floral person, so it wasn't my favorite scent for myself, but it was all right. And then we also have a duck. This was a sample size in a lemon lavender that I had received on the order that I, done, uh, that I picked up in, in April. Again, nice, but um, not quite the lavender I really liked, so I wouldn't repurchase the scent, but I know lots of people who do enjoy that combination. One I really enjoyed, and I would absolutely get a loaf in this for next summer to use strictly for blending, is their Fizzy Pop. Uh, really like the Fizzy Pop. I liked the clam, so I can just pop out a little bit and you know mix it with 
um, other scents. So I really enjoyed that. I would I would repurchase this again, probably in a small loaf or a large loaf, and cut it up and use it as a blender with other scents. Then we have a mint mojito, which was quite nice, and it smelled or yeah, it smelled just like you were drinking a mint mojito. So I really enjoyed that very much, and I'm sorry for my freaking video camera on my phone. Anyway, I really like this. Um, I don't know. I might get a scent shot next year, but I don't think I would go out and buy a loaf in that one. Uh, Rock a Pop was super popular from Hayden Row this year. Um, it was quite lovely. Let's see if that covers it. I don't know. I'm wondering if it's the flame. I don't know. Anyway, really like this one. It was tri-layered, red, white, and blue. Beautiful. It's just like the Rock a Pop um, popsicle that we all knew and loved from our childhood. If you grew up in the 80s, that kind of thing. I really enjoyed that. I would probably pick up a couple more little, not a, not a clown shot. I'd probably pick up a couple more scent shots in that one. Uh, lemon basil. This was so unique. Again, there's a lot of people like my friend Sarah. There's lots of other people who if you're cooking and you want, if you're cooking like meats, browning meats, a fish, that kind of thing in your kitchen, this would be a great one to put on afterwards. It was beautiful. The basil just complemented so well with the lemon. I really enjoyed this. Um, again, I wouldn't get a huge loaf. I'd probably get a couple more scent shots for that exact reason. Save it for those occasions where I felt like I needed to kind of clean the air out of my kitchen. So that being said, I would repurchase, but a smaller amount. Okay. Woohoo! Sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're probably going to hate me for this. So there's some vintage chic scents. We have Freak Show, which is described as cucumber, watermelon, and mint. This was okay. It didn't throw super, super well. It was from 2000, um, from March 29th, 2017. It was all right. It didn't throw significantly well. And Beach Bombshell, which was a bright citrus, coconut, lotion, and sea salt. This was nice, but mild. I think, but also the blend itself, like these scents here are mild in general. So um, I don't think anything was gonna punch you in the face and throw mama out of the house. So it was a mild scent, but I had two, like I split this rose into threes. I had two chunks of this in the great room um, and I could smell it. It just wasn't super strong. But again, I think that blend wasn't meant to be necessarily super strong. Uh, Life is a circus, acai grapefruit cotton candy. This was very nice, just not as strong as um, I would have wanted. This is from February 2017. This one was freaking amazing. You guys, if this came out in a loaf, I would not hesitate to purchase, or at least try to purchase with the Hunger Games. Jackie O visits her family. And we... It is sugar cookies, whipped cream, birthday cake, vanilla wafers, cannolis, marshmallow, birthday cake, Noel. This was fabulous and it threw like crazy. And yet, you know, like it's a hit and miss, right? Um, this was amazing though, you guys. And this was just from March 8th. So it did really, really well in my home. Cindy Lou Who is from also from Vintage Chic Scents. And this is described as cranberry ginger ale. This was very nice. Really liked it. This is also be a really good one. I think it might actually be in her next restock. Um, but this is also be a good one for the winter time, for you know, like um, New Year's that kind of thing. I really liked it. Annabelle's doll. It left me a little underwhelmed. Annabelle's doll is described as cranberry strawberry pomegranate. Eh, it was alright. It wasn't like super strong. Didn't really really enjoy it. This is from October of 2016. So there you have it. So I'm just gonna grab some things. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. I know I'm gonna be apologizing a whole bunch of times for these videos, but um, I really need, this is a reminder to me that I need a tripod for those days that I actually want to film the way I am right now. So, and I went through a lot of wax. So I don't know, did that work? I don't know, we'll see, we'll try it. So we have Wonderberry. We have Wonderberry's Sugared Fruit Fritz, or Fizz, sorry. Um, this is okay. I did not find Wonderberry to be wondrous. Um, I didn't find it to be super, super strong. I know lots of people who love Wonderberry. Uh, I just don't find it to be super strong at all. And then we have Rose Jam. This is part of my Rose Jam Wax Melt Off. And I liked it. It just wasn't, it wasn't the hit. Uh, of all the rose jams I did try, that this was not the hit. 
and then for my friend Beth, I've got Marshmallow Lavender Lollipop. This was quite nice though. I did enjoy this one. Um, probably out of all the Wonderberries I've tried, this would be the one I would repurchase in a, like a, you know, a scent shot, that kind of thing. This was really, really nice. All right, we have some Glitterati. I did go through some Glitterati in Blackberry Gem Butter Cookie. This is obviously a sample size. I received all my Glitterati from D stashes that I purchased from many different uh, vendor D stash groups pages on Facebook. This was really nice, you guys. I really enjoyed it. It surprised me actually. But the Blackberry, I realized I love Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie, the scent. I already know I like Blackberry, but that combination was fantastic. It threw like crazy. It was a tiny little piece, but it did really, really well. Um, this one I wasn't as thrilled about. Like it was okay. It only just was poured in May of this year, Oasis. Um, it was okay. I split these and I think it was in thirds because I know that you're normally strong this it was okay I could say I wouldn't go out and repurchase but the next one I would absolutely if I ever got on that um customs list holy cow you guys pretty in pink was awesome really really loved it split the sucker up um I just really really enjoyed it but again I already have my meltdown the first I think I melted this the first week of August so it's in that playlist I really enjoyed this really really beautiful highly recommend all right so let's see here we got some tiffany's now all right sorry. so tiffany's i can barely read this right now it is chunklet as a sample and rock candy with fizzy pops over pour you can barely read that I received this from my friend Sarah as you can see she's got her little sticker up there it was really really nice I quite liked it but again the fizzy pops stand out more than anything um, as this was a chunklet uh, sample it's not often that she pours specific um, things but that was very nice uh, fizzy pops just plain old fizzy pops of course I love it I blended with this I that's what I do with just regular fizzy pop it's lemon lime effervescence really really enjoy it Tiffany Candles birthday bash okay there you go um this was okay I this was a sample I received but I also had it in a scent shot it was good it was a typical white cake scent it was all right but I don't think it's unique to something I would absolutely feel like I need and couldn't live without so there you go we got Tiffany's coconut I have one more coconut in my stash right now um, I will use it next year as a blender it was not very strong at all um, this at least this particular pour uh, this is from April it wasn't super super strong but I will use obviously the one that I have and just chunk it up and mix it with things uh, more of a like coconut milk almost not really milky but so light coconut lime verbena type it's supposed to be a type to Bath and Body Works. Uh, this was nice. It was nice, but I don't think I would repurchase it again. Again, I want. I, I know of other things that I would rather purchase, but this was lovely. Um, it did fairly well, and there you go. And then we have Birthday Bash again. So this was the scent shot that I had, and I like this one. But again, like I've already mentioned, it was just a regular white cake, nothing fancy with a little bit of lemon in it. I found, but nothing major. And then we have Fruity Loops, which was part of my Fruit Loops um, meltdown. It was good, um, but it had the cigarette smell. <laughs> Don't ask me why. It's probably all in my head. But when I melted this, I got a little bit more. I got cigarette, like someone was smoking outside. So I don't know. It was very strange. But anyway, uh, I would not repurchase this. I think I'm over Fruit Loops. Funny, I think this is the first combination of scents that I am over. At least for a year I'll give it a year but I've done so much Fruit Loops that was a lot it was very overwhelming it's a lot of stuff all right I'm gonna go through some Walmart wax I love this I don't know if it's a Canadian exclusive I don't think the my American friends can get this it is by Sensationals it's coconut sea salt it is stunning it is like a coconut cookie with salt chunky coarse salt along the top is absolutely stunning I love this um, I yeah I love it and I know my local Walmart sells these so I'm wondering if it's a Canadian a Canadian exclusive you guys know I already love my fresh pulled taffy I have melted many of these before I have many more thanks to my friend Heather um, yeah I have lots <laughs> we're good so I really enjoy this but I also like blending it with 
fizzy pop. So there you go. It's proof we got. Now this one here from Better Homes and Gardens was a hit by so many YouTubers, uh, Island Coconut Lime. Now I got more of a perfume note to it than I did a coconut lime. So I didn't like this one as much. I still have one in my collection. I would not repurchase any more. I'll melt through that one next, probably late spring, I would say, unless I felt like just pulling it out and melting it at any time. So that's my thoughts on that. But I know it was super popular um, with many, many, many people. We have Rainbow Melts Margarita Lemonade. I really enjoyed that. It's straightforward margarita and lemonade. It was gorgeous. Rainbow, every single melt here I'm about to show you of Rainbow Melts throws like crazy. Um, if there is one that's uh, less of a throw, like less strong, I will let you know, but they were all strong throwers. So self-explanatory, Margarita Lemonade, very, very nice. Made my favorites list, Blackberry Lemonade, beautiful. I do enjoy my blackberry, and I think that, like Super Tarts, I think that Crystal has a great blackberry as well. I have no idea if, if they use the same uh, oils or not, but I like that one. And then we have Miami Fizz. This was great. This was a bunt that I cut up into many pieces. Now, as it states there, mango, papaya, pineapple slices, and fizzy pop. I got mostly papaya, funny enough, and then fizzy pop. Um, but I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really great. It was perfect for those hot, hot days that we had in August. And so, uh, Sweet and Salty Volcano, as you can see, the sentinel descriptions there are written. And this was a small square chunk and it did really well. Like it did super well. I chunked this up about three or four times and just used small amounts and it, uh, you didn't need very much for this. So again, Rainbow Melts kicks butt when it comes to strength in my experience. Shoot for the stars, blueberry, fizzy pop, strawberry, very, very nice. Did not get blueberry, thank God. As you know, I'm not a blueberry fan. Fizzy pop and strawberry, this was just a lovely summertime scent. Really enjoyed it. And they were little bunny rabbits, to sort of see the outline on that. Same with the next one. These were bunny rabbits as well. Ginger pear fizz, as you can see the scent note description there. Uh, again, very nice. Uh, I got actually more ginger and like a lemon lime, like the sparkling, I guess the ale. Um, the vanilla pear, I didn't get as much. I would imagine it's just a blender, but I really enjoyed this as well. Again, great for the heat of the summer. Okay. Oh, I lost one. I lost one. <laughs> I lost something to a bag that I can't get my hands on, but it's, I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's a super tart. <laughs> anyway, I went through from my friend Beth, a sample of Jaws. I love Jaws. It's almost always sold out on Super Tarts website. I use it exclusively in my bathroom. Use one cube at a time. This, these were band bag pieces and uh, they were wonderful in my 18 watt warmer. I have another clam of this because I picked up another D stash from my friend Leanne. I'm not a huge fan and it's not the reason why I picked up that other D stash uh, because Fennec's not my favorite. Um, it was many other wonderful things in that D stash that I did manage to pick up. But this is, as you can see, sugar cook, sugar cubes and ocean waves. It was okay, but I struggled to get through this. So I'm probably likely going to sell um, my other clam of it in a D stash. So anyway, um, it's good. I'm not gonna buy it again. I only bought, I only had another one in my stash because uh, I got it in a D stash. My pretty. As you can see, the Sentinel descriptions down below there from Super Tarts in the Oz collection. I liked it more on cold, and I've mentioned that before than I did on warm. I found that the Mac Apple, as it kind of normally does, it kind of claws out to the forefront, and all other parts of the Sentinel descriptions kind of fall behind. It was okay, and I didn't find it to last as long as most of my Super Tarts, so I was a little disappointed. But that just means I can try other things. But I'm glad I tried it and I'm glad I did that review of it as well. So but I do understand there's lots of people who enjoy that scent. More more for them. I won't be taking it from you. So we have uh, April from Super Tarts and it's really hard to read, but it's ginger ale, mac, apple, marshmallow, and cotton candy. Sorry, and cotton candy. There we go. And this was really lovely. I have a full clam of this left. I got this in a D stash. Um, I have a full clam from that same D stash. Really nice, effervescent, great for summer. Love it. All right, and I lost one super tarts. And I don't know what it is and it doesn't matter because this video is already long. And I'm probably making you guys nauseous with me holding onto the camera. 
All right, Bathing Garden, El Sweat, loved it. it. was like a Dr. Pepper sugar crack. It was awesome. I wouldn't necessarily say I got candy canes. This is the Sentinel descriptions um, that I was able to get from the website. I would not say candy canes or candy corn. Definitely syrup, definitely candy of some kind. And spicy soda pop, which bubbles, which I would say are, is like a Dr. Pepper. So I love that. And it was beautiful. And this one was uh, Vintage Circus. Another sample size. Blue cotton candy layered over crisp candy apples. This was nice. Liked it. Very nice. And Frolic, which is described as blood orange patchouli fizz. Now this to me was 100% lush karma. Um, very much. I really enjoyed that. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I would probably purchase a clam of that if it ever came back. Life is a circus. I don't have sentinel descriptions on the back of this. Uh, went through that. It was nice. Probably not a repurchase. It was a little bit too more, uh, too great for me. Um, yeah. Winter Palace, you guys know already how much I love Winter Palace. Uh, I've gone through a lot. I still have a lot left. These are all of the Sentinel descriptions on it. It's insane how much is in there, but it, all of it together is absolutely beautiful. Love it. And then we have Bohemian Rhapsody, strawberry, lime, orange, and raspberry. And this was nice. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but it was lovely. Um, it reminded me actually of Philosophy, uh, Philosophy's Amazing Grace uh, lotion and things. For some reason, for whatever reason, that's what I got from it. And last but not certainly not least are all the rose girls that I melted in the month of August. Cool beans, I melted and sliced up a chunk of cool beans, which is peppermint, lavender, and vanilla bean Noel. Beautiful, loved it. Melted that in the bedroom. Morrow Girls Strawberry Peppermint Coconut Milk. Gorgeous. Melted all of this in my bedroom. Loved it. Peppermint. Scrumptious. Mini Melters on her website. You guys can make your own. Just like with this one right here. Rose Girls Allison Slumberline. I fell in love with this the minute it came into my house. Sent my ho some home with my mom and I gave a, um, a slice of it to my friend Sarah. Honeydew, Cotton Candy Frosting, Lavender, all three of those scent notes I've got in Mini Melters from her website to hope, hoping to recreate it down the road. So I absolutely love that. Rose Girls, Blackberry, Ginger Ale, Fizzy Pops, fan freaking tastic. You know how much I love all of those things. It was just like perfect for me. I screamed him. Coconut Lime Margarita, disappointing. Didn't really enjoy this as much. I felt like I needed more from this. Um, it just fell flat. And that's the best way I can describe it. It just felt like it fell flat for me and my nose. And last, we have Orange Fizzy Pops. This was lovely. It was nice orange fizzy pop and it was great. So that is it, you guys. Oh my gosh, so I'm just gonna pan over here. Sorry for the shakiness. So this is what I have for fall. This isn't even all of it, but I love, I love fall. Um, again, I apologize for the shakiness, but I just wanted to show you guys this stuff. So I'm hoping, hoping to get that tripod soon and then I won't have to worry about shakiness and just do it the way I want to do it, when I want to do it. All right, you guys, as always, be safe and have fun.